Longtime viewers of the channel will know that Lauren has talked a lot on the channel previously about uh, Electric Light Orchestra and Jeff Lynne in general. And w many people might not know about ELO that they have uh, a kind of a lineage that most people don't know of. Like me personally, I'm one of those people that the moment I hear ELO or hear the name, I instantly think of mm -hmm. Jeff Lynne. Uh, but there's another artist who was heavily involved in the early stages of ELO that I learned about through Lauren named Roy Wood. And he has between ELO and his solo stuff has some really, and I mean this in a good way, some really wild stuff. It's wild. Yeah. yeah. So uh, if you've never even heard of Roy Wood, or if you have, and you're not sure where to start with them, that's what Lauren's going to do today and share five songs to start with from Roy Wood. Yeah. So there was a band called The Move that um, Roy Wood, Jeff Lynne, and Bev Bevan, who would go on to start ELO, they were in uh, together beforehand, and they have a track called Blackberry Way, which was kind of um, Roy Wood's answer to all of the kind of optimistic psychedelic pop that was happening at the time. Right. This song is basically like a depressing Penny Lane. Oh, that's yeah, that's so good. <laughs> yeah, but it's it, it, it's delightful, and it kind of gives you an idea of what, what Roy Wood's musical sensibilities are. It's like I'm going to take this thing that is familiar to you, and I'm going to turn it on its head in a right. way that's absolutely delightful. That makes sense. Uh, I, I like you know I, I've talked about this in videos before. Like bands like The Doors and and Sabbath were kind of an answer to all of the mm -hmm. poppy stuff that was going on at the time. So I like that Roy Wood was able to do that lyrically, but then still the music is still pretty like yep bouncy and whatnot so at least the next one i think is the only one on the list you have with elo yeah but it's probably not the elo most people know it definitely isn't so elo's first album which um funny tiny little sidebar is called no answer and it was actually supposed to just be a self-titled debut album but there was some kind of a phone miscommunication it was like hey did you get the title of that elo album yeah no answer so that's nobody somebody it. just didn't pick up the phone that's so funny. yeah so this is the track that uh closes that album and it's called whisper in the night and truly it doesn't sound like the elo that you're that you're used to mm -hmm. um this is the only entire album that roy wood was with elo for and um this song sounds like uh something you would hear in church you know it's uh big orchestrations it's kind of just it, it sounds almost like a dirge Okay. Uh, but, you know, I think it's just kind of a great way to, to close an album. And definitely ELO went in a completely different direction after that. Right on. Uh, the next one that you have on your list not only is from a solo album of Roy Woods, but it comes with a little bit of a story. We were recently in a new record store here in the Jacksonville area. Uh, Soul Waves Records, by the way, which we love. Yes. Uh, the store. So if you're anywhere near Jacksonville, go visit that store. Um, but... We were in there and Lauren came up to me with this solo Roy Wood album and it was only eight bucks and it was in great shape. And she said, oh, I've never heard this before and kind of started to walk away like she was going to put it back. And I was like, well, buy it, you know, for eight bucks, you know, you might right. as well. And it ended up having a song on it that you want to include on the list. So for sure. like, that's great that now someone else can be told to go check out a track from this record that you'd never heard before that. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, for, for what I said about Blackberry Way, about how uh, it was kind of his answer to the to what was happening in pop mm -hmm. music at the time i feel like the song uh, nancy sing me a song from this uh boulders solo album it, the entire album is kind of his love letter to pop music that was right. happening at the time and this song it's just it's just sweet it's pleasant and it's very fun to listen to i think when we were listening to this album for the first time i was kind of i had let the dogs out and i was standing there you know the song is kind of going and i just said huh i like this one and that was kind of just my gut reaction right. to it and so nice. yeah check it out it's great so moving past that then uh wizard is a group that you've actually talked about on the channel I believe i think you've done a five songs to start with just for wizard i think i just talked the about channel. them at christmas okay that's mm -hmm. right yeah and so this is another band that roy was a part of after he left elo correct yes okay so yeah. you've got a song from them yes i do this is my favorite wizard song it's called see my baby jive and there is a um this song is huge it's it's giant there's any any instrument you could think of is is on this track he packed everything he possibly could into this and i feel like i mentally can't separate this song from uh there was a performance that they did on top of the pops with it mm. and there's people in gorilla masks there's just like elves running around there's yeah, face paint there's do. glitter it's wonderful it's it's a party of a song and it's a very lyrically it's very simple it's about yeah. my girl can dance 
and she does a good job at it. Right. And that's that it doesn't mean anything other than that. But man, it's so much fun. And this would be a good time to mention, too. We always put the links to the songs in the description of the video. So if you want to check out any of these songs or like that performance, I'll put in there, you know, like just go ahead and hit the links in the description and you can check out everything that we're talking about in this video. Uh, so the last one, do you remember what you said to me about the song in the car? I, I do. I do. So Roy Wood, this is a, a Roy Wood solo song, and um, he put out a his last solo album was 1987. And uh, I said that this song is what it would sound like if an eccentric multi-instrumentalist had all of the electronic tools of the 80s at his disposal. Yeah. And then she said that in the car and then uh, hit play and instantly it was like, yep, that's what that sounds like. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's a track called Under Fire from his album Starting Up. And it's it again it's big it's like electronic wizard yeah. you know it's just it's awesome but, i think the diversity in all the stuff that roy wood does he he couldn't have done if he stayed in elo mm -hmm. like that was not the direction that band was going to go right, yeah. and man his stuff is just so fun which is you know, which is fine. Like a lot of times when people uh, leave an act or whatever, you know, they say, oh, I can't believe you left. Yeah, well, that, that he wouldn't have wanted to do what mm -hmm. ELO did after he left. Right. Uh, so if you are an ELO fan or a Jeff Lynne fan uh, and you have not heard of Roy Wood, you definitely should check out the links in the description. Check out these songs. If you've heard of Roy Wood, uh, let us know, you know, like if, if you agree with these picks or if there's others that you would pick uh, or if you haven't heard that Boulders album, you know, take a listen to it. Let us know. Uh, drop a like on the video. That helps the channel grow. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, please do that and leave us a comment below. And as we always say, thank you so much for watching.